Forehead debut, except not, because I recorded my Guild War debut, but I forgot to record the audio, so yay! We gotta redo this thing all over again, so instead, I'll make a quick guide for Elena, the newest ice hero, to cool down our seething rage. Should you pull, or should you not? I'm gonna say the verdict outright. No. I mean, just listen to her English voice. <gasps> Look beyond the sky. Huh? Are you doubting me? Shine forever in the light of the stars. Children of the stars will be saved. But for real, we'll get more into it after reviewing her kit. She's a clone of Deanna. Stat-wise, exact same catalyst and everything, so he's balanced overall in stats. Not too tanky and leans more towards resistance. Skill 1. Dispels 2 debuffs from 2 allies after attacking. This means that you should run high resist or immunity on her, as you mainly want to rid debuffs off your other teammates instead, not her. This also means counter set is great on her acting like counter Destina, except trading a heal for an extra debuff removal. Skill 2. Now this is a double edged problem she has that makes her too situational to be worth using or even pulling for. It reduces damage for your team against enemy AoE attacks that target all enemies. This means something like Avil or Champ Champ S1 won't trigger her S2 since they're not all enemies, they only target two heroes. The damage reduction, however, does affect your entire team. So in essence, she can be used to mitigate damage in PvP. However, it does not stack with Poop of Valor. And in fact, Poop of Valor cancels Elena's S2 mitigation completely if you have anyone with poop on them in your team. Yes, I'm replacing proof with the word poop. It also doesn't stack with Adam and Shield. I've tested both. So basically, you're limited to Aureus or damage sharing guys like SSB or ML Crozet and reducing other units' damage taken. The second part of her S2 is it activates Consecrated Ground after struck by an AoE attack. AoE attack only, healing your team by 20% of her max health. This means with a 20k HP Elena, she'll heal everyone for 2k HP each. And it'll activate every other turn, essentially. So, you're hit with an AoE, it triggers her S2, you hit with another AoE, it does nothing. And then hit with a third AoE, then it'll trigger again. So one of the problems here is AoE. This means Tamasaria attackers bypass her completely and will wreck your defense team. However, it seems strong against something like Oxjug's Cleave, right? But all it takes to screw you up is one AoE before that. Simply a Basar or Faithus Lytica or FCC will trigger Elena's S2, allowing their Judge Kise to full cleave like normal, without Elena contributing anything. So, it's easily counterable, hindering her defense presence. The second issue is, it doesn't trigger unless someone is missing HP. So if your team is full health, it won't trigger. This kinda makes sense, but it also ruins her artifact potential as you'll see later. S3 attacks all enemies, giving your team invincibility and effect resist buff for 2 turns, which is 50% resist for your team. This skill counters her S2. Invincibility means you won't take damage, thus she'll never proc S2. People were theorizing, oh maybe Magahara or Rod would be good on her, but that was on the premise that she would always trigger S2 based off AoE hits to your team. But it's AoE hits and whether your team is full HP or not. Thus, I don't think using her with those artifacts is worth it anymore over something like Celestine or Water's Origin or her new artifact that are guaranteed procs in most situations. Here's my Elena I built with super scuff counter set gear because despite using all my 70 snacks for Banshee 11 runs, I didn't get a single level 85 epic and none of the gear I crafted rolled good for her either. I mean, just look at this helmet. So yeah. Basically trash gear, but I don't care, working with what I got here considering how little I play anymore and the RNG of the dumb game. Despite this though, I won all my matches in Guild War today using her against a pretty evenly matched guild. 
Chi and other units like Champ, Zera, and SSB can really counter Dizzy and SSB teams and etc very hard, allowing you to get an easy Guild War win. With her S3 resist buff I had nearly 150 resists so I resisted most things easily, allowing her S1 to go ham for my other units. With Mag against something like Dizzy, she would shoot to the top after Dizzy goes and give my team invincibility. However, she's not good against Basar, as then her S3 does nothing if your team has unbuffable. You have to have a cleanser like Lilius if you want to stand a chance against Basar. So build wise I would suggest either counter with high resist or just go high speed like any other soul weaver. For soul weavers though she is pretty varied in what artifacts you can use. Magahara's Tome, Celestine, Rod, her new artifact whatever it's called, Water's Origin, stuff like that would be good on her but again It'll vary situation to situation which ones are good, as far as which ones rely on her S2 proccing, which being Rod and Magahara. Now before going into some live PvP matches, I will say she sucks in PvE, especially for endgame players. New players, eh, you might make a case, but for everyone else, bad. Why? Because the only hard content is Hell Raid and Hunts, and Hell Raid is still limited to two bosses both of which rarely have AoE. Now, if Queen was available in Hell Raid, she'd be fantastic. A lot of her kit is strong against Queen, but we don't have Hell Raid Queen, and Normal Queen is not challenging enough for us anymore, and morale-wise, she's about average, and she wouldn't even speed up killing Queen, so honestly, her only use in Endgame for us is either A11 or B11. Strong in A11, decent in Banshee, but yeah, that's about it. So let's just move on to some live PvP matches so you can see her in action. Okay, so here we are. We're going to be showing off Elena for you guys. Um, you want to look for AoE teams. So something like this, up top. Dizzy, Vildred. The middle team's also nice. All, you know, all AoE on their first skills. Um, yeah. That's the, only re that's the only content you're really going to make use of her in is stuff with AoE. So... Let's go against this team and see how we fare. I'm not sure if we're going to win or not. Again, the only testing I've done was in Guild War. I won, but, you know, it was mostly my units doing the work, not really her. But the invincibility was nice. So let's see if we can beat this team right here with Helena. Um, I have my Lilius on Aureus. I used to have her on Adam and Shield, but I had to change that for Helena to really make maximize that. So let's go. This is only a we got one DPS, points. SSB. Let's see if we can uh, hold out and kill these guys. Hmm. I think... Can we provoke her? Let's see if we can provoke her. Nice. So what's going to happen is FCC is going to go, right? Watch this. FCC. AoE. Boom, boom, boom. I won't go easy. Boom, boom, boom. More AoE. Give me all the AoE. That's going to trigger her S2. And because I have Magaharas, I can go... Um, I get a 30% CR boost if you max it out. Mine's like 27 or something. But what that enables me to do is put up invincibility. So basically, none of their guys can't do anything to my team now. And this is her strength. It's the Magahara S2 boost into invincibility. Look at that. And then counterattack. Get these debuffs off me. More counterattacks. And then they're, they're going to counterattack. And nothing happens. Untouched. 100% HP. Easy clap. So this is sort of how you use it. Against teams like this, with a lot of AoE. If they have single target attackers, you're not going to get too much investment off her. You've made it this far. Granted, I'm a low challenger because I don't play this game that much anymore, but... You know, the same concepts could apply to higher tiers. So let's just get rid of Maid. Or Stunner. Children of the stars will be saved. I'll show you who's this in charge. Way. See, if the, the team doesn't have AoE, then Elena's basically useless. That's the situation. 
And that's kind of what drags her down. Without AoE, is she useless? But let's get one more in. I'm sure you guys will see footage over the week of, from other people, and you saw some earlier clips with Guild Wars. So, uh, I think I'll, I'll probably show one of the other clips that I recorded against Arbiter Vildred, where he revived like three times. So I'll show that near the end. But let's just do one more match. How about this one right here with Bazaar? Let's see how she fares against Bazaar. Time to put an end to this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is why you need Lilius. Now what's gonna happen here that's gonna screw me up is Magahara's Tome. Right here, watch. Oh, but I got no debuff, so never mind. <laughs> I'm good. I don't think I don't think my Lilius ever once resisted a, a Basar. It's a bit ridiculous. Hmm, push him back? No, 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 no. Okay, no, 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 no. Um, provoke Emo Ken. Provoke this guy. Provoke Emo Ken. This is going to be the, the kind of drawback to her S3 is that it's an attack. It's not a... Just a skill. So, she's going to get countered by Emo Ken. But, because she has invincibility, she will resist it. But against Charles... It could be potentially a bad thing to do, um, but yeah. Shine forever. Shine forever. In the light of the stars. Her voice is also dumb. I watch this counter. Nothing. Watch this counter. Nothing. If I had SSB, I would have countered there though. So maybe SSB would have been better than Zeratu. But yep, we just sit back and watch the, watch the fireworks, I guess. <laughs> Spirit strength. Uh huh. Counter. Counter. I'll win anyway. S three. Do everything. Nice. Dead. Counter. Invincible. Are you ready to order? And yeah, we just win. <laughs> well, Emil Ken could solo us still, so challenge me. Takes a lot of courage. Can you handle this? Get these debuffs off me, bro. Crit, counter, invincibility still. He's not healing, so no No Sigurd Scythe? Interesting. Dead. Easy. That's how you use her. You need Lilius if you want to counter Bazaar. Or you need some kind of, uh, you know, cleanser. Destina. But they have to be faster than her. And if you are going against Bazaar comps like this with Lilius or something, you cannot use Magahara's Tome. Because the Bazaar likely will always go first. Um, and Magahara Tome is going to push her to the front. So I would recommend something else like. Idol's Cheer or, you know, Celestine to heal whenever she does an attack. This is why um, I recommend Celestine specifically for counter Elena. Um, if you're using counter Elena, I would probably I would probably equip this rather than Magahara's. Um, but I don't really intend to face Bazaar teams too much, so let's just do one more, right? This one? Yeah. This one's dead. <laughs> Actually, we could probably just take out Lilius. We could just take out Lilius and just kill the team faster with SSB. Alright, last match of the video. This is my last video for a while. Until they do lots of freaking changes to the game or we get a new hero. So obviously that's going to take a while. You won't see me past... Oh, you won't see me in two weeks unless they change something before then. They just announced RTA, but... Eh. Doesn't seem too special and it comes out at the end of the month, so... Hmm... This is it. Blah, 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 blah. Final strike. So the Vildred got moved to the front. See that? But he didn't. Unless my Elena gets stunned? No. Watch this. 
Yeah, yeah. Now watch this. Those ones. Blessing of the stars. <laughs> Why does she sound like a thousand year old woman? Also, notice her height. Look how short she is. Short stack. And yeah. Well, I mean, this is our challenger. I'm like challenger two gear wise. Challenge two one, maybe champ one or champ whatever five. But I never, I never tried to get there. So. And then yeah, we just kill him again. So you, you can see, you can see. I don't really have to explain too much. She's, she's decent. But I'm not sure how she's gonna do against the top PVP, um, you know, the top PVP units. And being hard counter by Basar really uh, draws her back, ruins her potential almost. But I guess you could say that about a lot of units against Basar. You know, Basar kind of makes Kitty Clarissa and stuff like that useless on defense. So I'll win anyway. Get rid of that buff. I'll show you what I can do. It's done. Nice. Ooh. The stars light our way. The stars. <laughs> Did you expect anything else? <laughs> you expect anything else? Nice. So yeah, that is Elena debut slash guide, I guess. Uh sorta of quick, it's sloppy, but I don't really care to put too much effort, so this is about as much as you can get. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Is she worth pulling for? Uh, uh, probably not. I'm gonna say no. Almost all player base, or all the player levels. Kind of like Melissa was kind of like, eh, you know, she's usable. She's definitely usable. But is she gonna advance you at all in PvP? Does she counter anything? Not really. No. So, PvE wise, again, only AoE attacks, so you're better off use, just using Carmen, right? Immunity is better than effect resist. And he's a tank, so she can wear Aureus. He reduces crit damage still. So, I think just Carmen's just better for PvE. And she doesn't heal. If she healed, like on like an uh, S3 or S1, okay, then we can talk. But right now, it's just not. It's just too situational. The fact that your team needs to be full health to trigger her S2 disables a lot of the artifacts. Like, my Mag would be really good. Rod would be really good. But that's on the premise that you're not on full health. But I guess, I, yeah, I guess situations, in most situations, you won't be full health from a AoE attack. But again, her S3 counters her S2. So once, you, when she uses her S3, her, S, her S2 is basically disabled. Besides the damage reduction, but you have invincibility anyway, so who cares, right? So yeah, kind of counterintuitive there. And yeah, she's water. <laughs> For and wyvern, yeah, what are you gonna do? She's useless in wyvern. She's actually one of the soul weaver, one of the only blue soul weavers that are useless in wyvern. Who would have thunk? That's the Elena guide. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, you now know what her potential is, and can decide whether you want to pull for her or not. Again, this is going to be my last video until the next new hero is released or they make changes to the game to where, you know, I can make other guides or I would have the enthusiasm to make, you know, Guild War videos and stuff like that. I just don't right now. Um, so until that changes, no videos for me. But yeah, smash that like button if you enjoyed the guide. Comment down below what you guys think of Elena. What kind of builds are you running or you think, if you think she's worth summoning, what do you think of her voice? Why? <laughs> why? Why do you think her voice is like that? And yeah, see you guys next time. Subscribe for more Epic 7 epicness. Probably weeks or months down the road. Bye.